Hey, your car guy, Bill DeBoer, over here at DeBoer's Auto. Today we're making a couple of videos talking to you about what the future of driving looks like. We're closing up on 2020 and heading into 2021, so we're coming at you with a uh, two-part series on what the future looks like, and this is part one. So uh, a couple things that we want to talk about in the first part of this is vehicle data. This is a very important thing that's being brought up as a major issue going forward. A lot of people don't quite realize the amount of data that's being recorded on their vehicles and who actually owns that data today. Uh, There's a New York Times opinion piece that came out last year. Uh, you know, the title was, Your Car Knows When You Gain Weight. And as a vehicle manufacturer right now, they have visibility to all that. So uh, you can see how a piece of information like that could be very useful to your insurance carrier, both either for your vehicle or your health insurance carrier, your life insurance carrier. Uh, and that's just one piece of it, right? So. Uh, these vehicles are running around. They know your driving habits. They know where you're driving to, where you're driving from, um, what type of driver you are. And the question really comes down to if it's your vehicle, shouldn't you own the data yourself? And the manufacturers have pushed really hard to make sure that they have their foot in the door and that they're trying to control that. But uh, this past election cycle uh, in November, uh, Massachusetts passed an important piece of legislation which is the Right to Repair Act and this has previously been in place before back in 2012 but this expands it a little bit more and gives the consumers greater protections on their data so uh, it's going to open it up so that you and independent shops like us have access to it too so that we can repair these vehicles when they come in. Uh, the next piece that we want to talk about with the future of driving is the stages of driverless vehicles that are coming up. So uh, I don't think it's any big secret that we're headed to a society that's going to own driverless vehicles and that we will no longer be driving at some point in the future. I think it's going to be quite a ways off, but there's five stages of driverless vehicles that I want to talk about. So level zero is, uh, you know, probably up until maybe like five years ago type of vehicles where there's absolutely no automation in the vehicle at all. Uh, we're starting to see a lot more level ones come into the market now. So level ones are uh, the ones with driver assist features like lane departure warnings, um, you know, the uh, cameras that sit up top to protect you from running into the back of the vehicle in front of you. Uh, all those types of systems are in the level one. Uh, level two is gonna be the partial automation. So that's where you get more into the uh, cruise control that's adaptive that will uh, keep your distance from the vehicle in front of you. Uh, then we move on to the conditional automation. From there we move up to highly automated vehicles. And then obviously level five is fully automated vehicle. So I think we're still a way at, ways out from there, but uh, we're starting to see a little bit of the higher end vehicles right now getting into the, even the level three right now. There's some level threes out there with conditional automation. So uh, you can learn more about us, head on over to www.deboersauto.com and learn more about us there. Thanks.